Lameness is a major issue for New Zealand dairy farmers. Lame cows are a welfare issue. They take time, energy and skill to treat and they're a financial cost that will impact on farm profits. Lame cows produce less milk, lose weight and take longer to cycle. New Zealand research has shown there's a significant delay from when a cow first becomes lame to when her lameness is detected. Making sure you're actively looking for lame cows can make a significant difference to severity, recovery and cost. The Dairy NZ Healthy Hoof Lameness Score is a reliable approach to identifying cows likely to benefit from treatment. It has been developed using combined knowledge from UK and US scoring systems adapted for the New Zealand dairy farmer. The system identifies four categories from no lameness, that's score zero, through to severe lameness, score three, and links to the action required for managing each group. It's helpful to observe cows from the side and from behind, standing and as they walk. Cows have evolved to avoid being targeted by predators and so they're extremely good at hiding the signs of pain associated with lameness. Cows showing early signs of lameness can be found throughout the herd as they try to maintain their normal position walking to the dairy. As their lameness worsens, they may be found towards the back of the mob. Healthy hoof lameness scoring focuses on six areas of a cow's mobility that will indicate whether she is lame and how severely. These are walking speed, walking rhythm, stride length and foot placement, weight bearing, back alignment and head position. One indicator is the cow's walking speed. Cows will normally walk at a similar speed to a person and maintain their position in the herd. As lameness worsens, her walking speed will slow and she may move towards the back of the herd as she struggles to keep up. This is most noticeable after milking, when cows are walking at their own pace back to the paddock. Another indicator for lameness scoring is the walking rhythm. Cows normally have a regular rhythm in all four legs and walk confidently with a fluid motion. If she becomes lame, the rhythm will be interrupted and become uneven. Often the corresponding non-lame hind or front leg will swing through faster than the lame leg to reduce the time on which the lame leg bears weight. A cow's stride length and foot placement are excellent indicators of her lameness score. When cows walk on an even surface and at their own pace, they'll track up. They look in front of them and choose where their front feet land, then their back feet land on the same spot. This allows them to place their feet safely and avoid obstacles such as stones. Cows with lameness scores of 1, 2 and 3 may have a shortened stride and their rear foot may fall short of the front foot placement. Another indicator is how a cow bears weight on all four limbs. Cows with healthy feet place and weight bear evenly on all four legs while standing and walking. Lame cows will favour the lame leg. This leg will not fully weight bear and the opposite leg will take more weight. The dew claws will sink closer to ground level. How straight and even a cow's back is can also indicate her lameness score. Non-lame cows tend to stand and walk with a straight back, whereas an arched back can indicate lameness. That said, an arched back can also be a sign of an uncomfortable walking surface or other health issues such as gut pain. A cow's head position and movement is another clue to lameness. A cow will normally hold her head slightly below the back line. When she's walking, the head only moves a little. A cow carries 60% of her weight in the front half. 
she can use her head position to transfer weight away from a painful leg. She will raise her head to take weight off a lame front foot and lower her head to take weight off a lame back foot. This can be seen as a bobbing head when walking. Many of the early indicators of lameness are subtle and only seen with careful inspection of walking cars. Yet early treatment is the key to rapid and complete recovery with minimal disturbance to the car and her productivity. This car has a lameness score of zero. She's normal. She's walking at the same speed as the rest of the herd and with a normal rhythm. Her stride lengths are even and she's tracking up. Foot placement is even. She has even weight bearing on all four feet. She walks with a flat back and her head is steady. No action is necessary, but as with all animals, she should be monitored regularly. This car has a lameness score of 1. She's showing some of the early signs of lameness. It's hard to identify a change in walking speed as she will still keep up with the herd. Her strides may be shortened with the rear foot missing the front foot placement. Her steps might be uneven, but close or repeated inspection is required to decide which leg is affected. Her back may be slightly arched and her head lowered while walking if her back foot is lame. Her feet are likely to benefit from examination and further observation is recommended. This car has a score of 2 and is moderately lame. She is lame on her back right leg. She is walking slower than normal and may stop on the farm race. Her walking rhythm is irregular and she has a definite shortened stride where the rear foot placement falls short of front foot placement. She has uneven weight bearing on a leg that is immediately identifiable. The healthy leg moves through quickly and the dew claws sink closer to the ground. Her back is arched and her head is lowered or bobbing. This car is lame and should be drafted, examined and treated as soon as practical. This car is severely lame with a score of 3. Her back right and front right legs are lame. She walks very slowly, stops often and will lie down in the paddock. She can't keep up with the herd. She has obviously shortened and uneven strides. The lame leg or legs are obvious and she's reluctant to bear weight on them. She has an arched back and either bobs her head or holds it down. She must be drafted, examined and treated immediately, within 24 hours. She may require a vet. As with all lame cows, she should not be made to walk far and should be kept on pasture. Lameness scoring should take place throughout the year on flat, even surfaces. On the race, when cows are being brought in for milking, in a herringbone, cows can be observed as they enter and align themselves in the bale area. In a rotary, look out for uneven weight bearing as cows stand in the bale. The best time to lameness score cows is after milking when cows are under no pressure walking back to the paddock. When bulls are being used for mating, they should also be observed for lameness regularly. Lameness in bulls through overwork can impact severely on the reproductive performance of the herd. As stockmen you have a responsibility for the health and welfare of the cows in your care. When working with stock, keep an eye out for any changes from normal, including indications of lameness. Look out for the speed and rhythm of their walking, their stride and foot placement, whether they're weight bearing and their back and head position. If a lame car is found, record her number, then draft and examine her as soon as possible.
If you'd like more information on reducing the level of lameness in your herd, the Healthy Hoof Program is a great place to start. Go to our website. Watch the following images and score the cows on a scale of 0 to 3. Most farmers would give this cow a score 1. Her feet are likely to benefit from examination and further observation is recommended. Most farmers would give this cow a score 2. This cow is lame and should be drafted, examined and treated as soon as possible. Most farmers would give this cow a score 1. Her feet are likely to benefit from examination and further observation is recommended. Most farmers would give this car a score 3. She must be drafted, examined and treated immediately within 24 hours. Most farmers would give this car a score zero. Most farmers would give this car a score 3. She must be drafted, examined and treated immediately within 24 hours. Most farmers would give this car a score zero. How did you get on? As stockmen you have a responsibility for the health and welfare of the cows in your care. Picking up lame cows in the early stages will result in faster recovery, less effort and expense. Use the Dairy NZ Healthy Hoof Lameness Scoring System to identify cows likely to benefit from treatment. If a lame cow is found, record her number, then draft and examine her as soon as possible.